I'm Matt Frost, I'm the Bill Payer at Function First Martial Arts Academy on Dixon Street in Lincoln. What do I teach and offer here at Function First? A free party to improve the fun of the collective while learning how to fight. Life changing, defining moments for those that jump on board and grasp it. It's huge, there's just it's, it's so many, so many um, facets to it. Okay, so same entry, punch, hammer, hammer. In my own words, can I describe what I was like as a child? E easily, yes, an absolute nightmare. Off the rails, always in trouble, always um, fighting, always burning houses down, always stealing cars. So my home environment didn't make me that, that man. Um, s sort of uh, school and authority made me that type of man. I've just despised authority. I still have a problem with it, to be honest with you, but I've dealt with it better. But yeah, from a young age, just the way teachers speak to you at school, the way they dictated ways, the way things should be, that I never saw them like that. And even at a young age, I knew that was nonsense. Um, my home environment was interesting and, and diverse, as my mum fostered dozens and dozens of children, and at some point we'd have 40, 40 children moving through the house in a week. Uh, so we'd have young 13, 14 year old prostitutes living there with their kids. So my home environment was quite interesting and diverse and just gave me, gave me insight into other people's lives at a very young age that I think is invaluable. So what were my biggest influences growing up? Um, definitely music, punk rock music. I grew up listening to mainly aggressive punk music that was like about tear it all down, smash it all up and that quite appealed to me as a young angry man. And then I got more into the peace punk side of things that were all about rebuild it, build it up, you can do this yourself, more of a DIY cultural thing. So when I got into the peace punk movement for example we'd organise anti-fascist gigs, very often turn into transit vans of neo-nazi skinheads with you know the Luftwaffe eagles tattooed on the foreheads, just pitch battles with skinheads on a regular basis as we were trying to raise awareness of anti-fascism. My name's Stuart, I work at Function First Martial Arts and I'm one of the coaches. No one really inspired me or got me uh, got me interested. And then I turned up at one of Matt's classes, and yeah, it's exactly what I was looking for straight away. truck and dived off the truck after him, she's dragging me back in, it was a mess man. And then I look round and she's on the, she's laid on the floor and there's just blood everywhere. And what it done, it shot, as she ran up like that, it shot her through the hand, through the arm and the bullet was stopped just in front of her face. That, that changed me a little bit. I found out what I was prepared to do, I found out what I was willing to do and I found out what I was happy to do in that moment. My name is Paula Vanyard and I uh, help one function first. I've known Matt for 33 years. I'm not going to marry him. <laughs> Trial. Trial. Playing the long game. The kids that train here, they go out, they teach, they teach here, they teach groups of, I've got 12 year old girls that teach, that teach groups of kids. They can organise and lead groups of adults. So, yeah, that, that, that element of me, I'm trying to get that, you do it yourself, get out there, be nice, be respectful, but know what you want and go for it. In the end, the punk ethic, the DIY ethic, is you're doing it, I'm just here to point in the direction, and we've got the space to all do it in. At the end of the day, you can't push a piece of string, you need to get off your arse and you need to do it. Cool, more happens next week, thank you!